stop talking. It's the, I, I resolved that talking was too difficult. You see, in, in the move from Mississippi to Michigan, you would think it would be a jubilant journey for a young boy of, uh, I was then five years old, to going to the land of the, the promised land, you know. Uh, for me, though, it was leaving the soil that I had touched with my bare feet. And I didn't know if I'd ever touch soil with my, with my bare feet again. And that was traumatic for me. I was leaving Huck Finn world. And, and forget social problems. I was leaving the, the earth of Mississippi, the, the clay soil of, along the banks of the Mississippi River. And that, that, that was a trauma for me. And I didn't realize that until I went back for a family reunion in my, when I was 40 years old. And I got back to the old homestead and I felt it. Such a, a warmth, not, not temperature, heat warmth, but such a, a psychic warmth hit me that I was back to that land again. And, and that, that, that journey, that, that choo-choo train journey from Mississippi to Michigan was, was a trauma. I mean, there are other little things that happened along the way uh, that, that one might pin uh, it to, the, the family, fam family things. Uh, I, I was an adopted child uh, of my grandparents, and, and I, I don't know how I can ever express my, my gratitude for that, because my parents would have been a mess, you know. And there were considerations about that. Where should I go? And that, that began to bother me when I hear those discussions at night. Where should James Earl go? But it was a journey itself, and I, I, I really feel the, 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 the being ripped from the soil is, is what set me into a state of trauma. So by the time I got to Michigan, I was a stutterer. I couldn't talk. So my, 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 my first year of school was, uh, um, uh, was my first mute year. <laughs> And then those mute years continued until I got to high school. And I suspect a lot of people are stutterers and, and, and some, somehow overcome it. Or we, we all mask it. I'm, I'm still a stutterer, but we all find a way to mask it. And sometimes, I guess, our vocabulary might be a little larger than it would have ordinarily been because uh, we have to find a word we won't trip on. Uh, a word that begins with the right consonant. Uh, you know, I, 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 I resigned to it as, as a kid. I guess I was then about, you know, in, in, from 10 years old uh, when I was approaching um, serious school work, you know, like, you know, where really you, had, you had to really report what you knew. And uh, the teacher accepted that I could do all my reporting with a pencil. I didn't have to speak oral examinations. I did all my written and I became uh, un just a non-verbal person. I became a, a, a writer, you know. And um, and I was resigned to that. That, that was okay. It was kind of quiet, you know. I, I compare myself now to Ali, Muhammad Ali, you know. Whenever I meet him, he doesn't say much. I think he enjoys it back there, not saying very much. Because he was such a, a mouther before, you know, and brilliant at it. No, I think he enjoys being quiet. Well, I enjoyed being quiet. I, it, it, it was, a, you know, as long as people respected and didn't bother me and didn't probe me, you know, I, it, it was a nice place to be. James R. Jones, one of the Hollywood's most instantly recognizable voices for the, for, I mean, for his so many roles in the likes of Star Wars movies and The Lion King, according to reports um, we've just seen via deadline, they're saying that he has passed on at the age of 93. Very devastating news and very heartbreaking news. The actor's representatives came out and said that he passed away in his upstate New York home surrounded by family members. Widely respected for his so many roles within so many movies, um, they are saying that he had a decades long career in stage, TV, film productions, theater and so most notably perhaps he delivered the booming and the menacing voice of the death Vader in multiple movies in the Star Wars franchise. He was also a paternal voice in the Mufasa in Disney, Disney's Lion King, but of course long before that he had got his first big movie in Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strange Love back in 1964. A legend born 
um, that was on January 17th, 1931, passed on on September 9th, 2024. Was an American actor known for his iconic voice acting roles and for those young people who would love to be you know having the so thing you know well clear sound voice i mean sounding and of course great voice you can't look anywhere else than on jones because man he's voiced so many movies he's won tony awards he's won emmy awards he had a grammy award and so many other notable and recognizable awards man you can't look anywhere else than on jones he was born in akabotla mississippi in 1931 and he had a stutter voice since childhood it shows how it means and how great he worked on himself you know to become what he became during his career because from moving i mean from being a, a person who is who was a starter you know to becoming one of the world's best voice actors man it's really incredible we are sending our deepest canalizers to his family friends fans and everyone who really knew um jones rest in power the king james r jones